What's going on gamers and welcome to another exciting edition of This Week in Madden Show. One, five, three, Z Farrell's bringing it to you and we've got another jam-packed show full of your questions, tips, tricks, gameplay, all different things. We've got everything going on tonight. We're reading your questions in the chat right now so if you are late or you're watching this on YouTube tomorrow, you missed us, remember go to twitch.tv slash Madden Tips where you can get all the information you need to up your game. Taking your questions on Twitter, at Madden Bible. Just feel free to send over your questions. For those of you guys wondering where S. Gibbs is at, he is down in Florida. He is now a comms specialist at EA. According to his Twitter bio, you can check him out there, at S. Gibbs 7. If you need more info, he's got it all on there. So he still will be working with us from time to time. He's not going anywhere. He's still involved in the Madden community. Uh, that's what his Twitter says, so look into that. And uh, we appreciate everything he's done for us at Madden Tips. So we got a new chapter going right now, and we're getting ready to rock. Uh, the, the biggest change from S. Gibbs, I now have to wear glasses because I can't read without them. He used to read the questions and tell me what they were, but now I have to wear glasses because I can't see that far away. So downfall number one right there. That's it. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at our first uh, order of business tonight before we jump in game. Uh, first things first, we've got Ray Lewis as the bonus reward player, a 92 OVR middle linebacker, and we're going to compare him with some of the other players that we like quite a bit. Obviously, Luke Keekley is maybe the best user linebacker or the best CPU linebacker in the game. And Ray Lewis's play rec is up there with him. His block shed's even higher. Good pursuit, good strength. So he's going to be a little better in the run game, perhaps, than Luke Keekley. Maybe not a tracking down the carrier, but at least uh, hanging out um, and getting off of blocks if he does so happen to get blocked. So this Ray Lewis is going to step in and just be pretty much an absolute monster for your defense. So you've got him until March 25th. You could probably sell. I could sell one of these three guys. I'm going to give away Wagner and have Ray Lewis kind of take over pretty easily. So um, that's what we've got going on. And uh, we appreciate that free card there from EA. That's a nice little item to work on. The Demarius Thomas, I hope he's been working out for you guys as well. All right, let's see what we have here. So for the subscribers tonight, I've got Mrs. Madden Bible on a mission. March Madness starts tomorrow. If you are a subscriber, uh, if Giuseppe gets in, we're going to have eight spots left. There's going to be eight spots. So the home team or the, the lowest seed left, so the one seed, two seed, they're going to always be this side of the bracket. The higher seed, like the 16 seed, or if it's a even seed game later in the tournament, a one plays a one, it's going to be whichever uh, city starts with lower alphabetical. But Say uh, the home team play, there's going to be 65 games played, right? 68 games played in the tournament. If the one seed wins uh, 100, the last number is 100, to 88, then that person wins the square. If the home team scores 35 points, or the lower seed scores 35 points, and the away team scores 28, uh, 6 points, then that's going to be the square. And all the subs are available. So we've got that going on. So Giuseppe subbed. We've got sub type. Uh, Mrs. Mata Bible, you are, you are on duty. So you're going to figure out who's there. I'm sure we'll get a few more subs tonight as Giuseppe's already started the train. Doot, doot. And that's what we've got uh, going on. So you can compare if you want to grab this. Once again, sub squares for March Madness. Great prizes, 68 games or so. And that's what we've got going on. Giuseppe did sub. So uh, if you want to add a guy named G-I-U-S-E-P-P-E -P -P -E, uh, to the first available space. So I, I'll, I can send you that. We'll get that going. Um, if you guys want to RT, we got it going. That's what we're going to do. Right now, we're going to take a look at our first question of the night. This one's coming in from Big Slow 17 a great question asker. He wants to know, what is the best mutt item in the last month? So let's take a look here and see what we've got uh, to answer this question. What is the best mutt item in the last month? I'm going to argue that it's probably got to be 
Not the T.Y. Hilton that just came out, even though that new T.Y. Hilton is kind of a fire item. Uh, very good speed. Joe Thomas, obviously available. Position Patrick Peterson. People have been going nuts over. Um, and then, of course, you had Patrick Willis and Marshawn Lynch. So some really ridiculous choices to choose. Uh, it's got to be Patrick Willis just over Marshawn Lynch. So I do actually want to go highlight this. Uh, this Patrick Willis and I also want to take a look at a Khalil Mack because Perez Jr. just reminded me of how good that uh, Khalil Mack is. I believe it's a golden ticket Khalil Mack. Uh, I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. Um, so that's my only question. But let's take a look at Willis and we'll highlight one version um, because I played somebody the other Saturday. I believe he was a friend of the Mr. Golden Sports stream and he had Patrick Willis and everybody typed it in the chat. It was a grand time. This 77 overall, Patrick Willis, has 99 speed, 99 pursuit. So if you user him, obviously the pursuit, you're going to be the pursuit. But at 99 speed, 77 OVR, I mean, he's expensive here, but he could be a fun card to run around with and just try and cause some havoc uh, in the middle of the defense, 99 acceleration. So if you're into that, um, you could take a look at this Willis and see if he does anything for you. But overall, the 99 uh, Willis or the 24 hour Willis is probably going to, I'm going to give him the number one seed, Pat Pete, the two seed, uh, Joe Thomas, the three seed, T Y Hilton, the four seed. And then only because he's so rare gold, uh, Khalil Mack the golden ticket. If it's true, the five seed, uh, I'm not familiar with, uh, what he's got going on. So that would be my, uh, answer to what is the best mutt item in the last month. I wonder if anybody else has their opinions, but that's what I think you should attack for your squad right now. Um, False Fish, take a look at a sub link for you to get um, to get you subbed up, to get yourself a square. Once again, we only have, I believe, eight squares left, but those numbers will continue to update as Mrs. Madam Bible fix the chart uh, as we get it going. I would argue that the um, I would argue that the March Madness bracket more complicated than my wedding tables. That's, that's, I don't know, that could be true. All right, let's go back real quick. We'll reset this bad boy at the top. Once again, I'm your host, Steve Farrells. Ask me questions on Twitter, at Madam Bible. I'll get to them on the show. Um, S. Gibbs is now a comms specialist at EA. You can check out his Twitter for more info. I know he still plans to hang around the community, plans to stream still, so. Uh, don't worry about that. He's literally just moved to Florida, I believe, on last Wednesday, Thursday. So he's just getting settled. But once he's settled, you'll see more of him. Unfortunately, we couldn't get rid of him that easy, guys. All right, we've got Mutt Madness tonight, giveaways. We got the scores, all that stuff. We'll keep it going. So it's a rookie Khalil Mack, not a golden ticket. Gotcha. All right, next question in the mailbag. How to stop a read action play a read option play action scheme uh, this is a nice little question and we'll talk about it here so how do you stop a read option play action scheme so the toughest thing about that is you, you kind of need to do two different things I don't know if my playbook actually is gonna have all right we do what we are gonna have because we have the Niners playbook we're gonna look at the read option from gun trips and then if I'm playing defense, so we'll reset this bad boy. Because this, this troubles a lot of people, but the answer is pretty, pretty straightforward. So um, we'll look at it one more time here. How do you stop a read option play action scheme in Madden 15? So the way you want to do that is come out in something like the nickel 245, right? You want to try and find a defense that has three hook zones across the middle of the defense. Uh, those hook zones are going to allow you to drop against play action and kind of slow some things down. So we're going to pick the play cover to sink. And so the first thing you want to do is any time, any single time you see a quarterback in shotgun or pistol, anytime he's not directly under center, whether it's a mobile quarterback or not, defensively you take this, the controller, press L2, and either choose X for the quarterback or square for the running back. 99% of the time, you're going to pick the quarterback. So I am now guarding the quarterback, and then I'm going to get out of there and let the computer deal with it. So the offense has to hand the ball off to the running back now. Otherwise, 
the quarterback's going to get stuck. And so now at least you know what's going to happen when the play happens. They're going to give it to the quarterback because if you do go after the running back, then the quarterback has a pretty good chance to escape and, and can cause you to uh, get into trouble. So go after the running back, kind of plug the middle. Here, though, when they do go to play action, right, play action can be tough because it sucks your defenders down. Right now, we didn't call anything. Watch our defenders in the middle. Look what they do. They stay and they chill at the, uh, at the snap. They go down towards the middle of the, of the field. And you don't want that to happen because that's causing you to get beat by those levels concepts across the middle that everybody uses early in the season. So once they start to call those type of plays, what you want to do is press uh, triangle. You're going to play right stick up, which is over the top coverage. That's going to make your zones play back. You're going to press L2 and right stick up. So before the snap, you now need to press L2 and X to make sure you go after the quarterback and then L2 and right stick up. And you can do both and not uh, have it be effective. Now you'll notice Johnson should drop back. He's actually going to get real uh, bunch of depth and so if they're hitting you with, this is PA wide receiver, it's a little different, but if they start to hit you with those plays across the middle, look at how fast he backed up. Didn't get sucked in. Um, and we'll show you, once again, in instant replay real fast, what it, that is going to, to cause your defense to do. So we played over the top, played the QB. Once again, we didn't have to play the QB here because it was just a fake. But you saw at the snap of the ball, the middle linebacker there, instead of staying, waiting for that fake, he just bails out. And now those routes that were getting in behind you, no longer an issue. So that is how you want to attack those schemes in Madden 15. All right, uh, let's set it back up. We've got another question coming in. This one is from Snos511. Does your elusive rating get you open in space? So a good question about ratings here. Ratings always a pretty open to interpretation, but the elusive rating, I'm going to say does not get you open in space. You're thinking kind of of an elusive player like Tavon Austin, and Tavon Austin is going to be you know, tough to bring down in the open field. Uh, Darren Sproles, and that's a, elusive in your mind for this rating. You're thinking of a combination of speed, agility, um, you know, route running after the catch maybe, or yards after the catch ability. But I know there's an actual rating, guys, called elusive. But elusive, what that's going to do is allow your ball carriers uh, to break tackles with an elusive animation. So let's talk about this real quick. We'll go find ourselves a halfback here in Ultimate Team. Let's find a halfback. And we'll take a look at two of his most important ratings. Um, CJ Spiller is going to be an elusive back. His elusive rating is a 90 and his trucking ratings of 56. So, in my opinion, what that means is if CJ Spiller comes up to a tackler, the game is gonna say, all right, Patrick Willis has 99 tackle rating. Uh, CJ Spiller has 90 elusive rating. Who wins? Who wins, who wins when these two things happen? Most of the time, Patrick Willis is gonna win, but say he, he goes up against a 75 overall tackler, well, CJ Spiller is gonna break that tackle quite a bit and it's going to play an elusive guess against this guy's tackle and <clears throat> if he wins then he's going to break out of the tackle so that is how i believe the game determines once again my opinion kind of done some research into it where marshawn lynch right his truck is a 76 or a 96 and his elusive is a 75 so what's going to happen in that situation is Marshawn Lynch is never really going to play an elusive animation because he's always going to go for the truck. So if he comes up with a guy with a 75 tackle rating, Marshawn Lynch is going to dice roll his 96 truck, and then it's going to be that. So elusive isn't in the open field, but elusive backs, yes, they tend to be faster, tend to be smaller, tend to be more jukier, uh, and that's where you're going to see the success uh, from that. We've got some sub hype here on the show right now. False fish. Uh, Mrs. Madden Bible. False fish, false fish sub hype. Uh, that's not a false report. It's actually false fish. He is getting a square for March Madness. Starts tomorrow, guys. Um, all right, time to reminisce. As you guys know, S. Gibbs once again moved on. He's down at EA Sports. He's a comm specialist now. Once again, check his Twitter for more info. 
three years ago, we brought five TVs in here and we just watched March Madness all day. It was great, a little reminiscent right there, but that's over now, but that's okay. It was pretty intense. Um, I'm not gonna cry because it's over, I'm gonna smile because it happened, and it happened and it was glorious. I'll send out, I'll tweet out the picture tomorrow. I can still do that on my own though. I could have five TVs, it's a little overkill, but that's, that's not, I'm getting shut down. See, she's usually not here, so I can usually say what I want but we need her to, to uh, figure it out, so. All right, <clears throat> let's jump back into the mailbag. Reminder, guys, you can tweet me your questions right now, at Madam Bible. Looks like we got some new followers in the house, so make sure to follow the stream if you haven't, but let's get back in. Who is the best speed back for under 120,000 coins? MB Saints. He already has the Jamal Charles, I believe 94, who's a very good speed back uh, for your coin. Um, obviously, we were looking at Marshawn Lynch right now, but let's take uh, some recommendations from the chat. Chat, I need you to let me know uh, who is the best speed back, in your opinion, at that price range. D. Stewart is saying Chris Johnson. I think that's a really good option. Once again, Darren McFadden, <clears throat> this version, he is going to play trucking animations because he's a 94. So you might not think of him as a speed back, but he has 97 speed. He's six foot two. He has really good catch, so he can kind of play that role. Um, <clears throat> I know there's a Shane Vereen that's pretty good, but I wouldn't choose him. Um, I'm going to say that this Chris Johnson, who's mystery at 98 speed, 97 elusive, 99 acceleration, is probably going to be the guy you want to go for. Um, I would recommend taking a look at him. Another guy I want to talk about real quick is the doctor. Uh, there's a Darren Sproles. I think he's 95, um, so he should show up. But this specific version of Darren Sproles is obviously so short that he breaks. This is season's veteran Darren Sproles? There's another Darren Sproles, though. Anyway, 95 speed, 97 excel. He breaks a lot of tackles because I don't think guys can tackle him and break down. There's also a CJ Spiller 90 says lifestyle that is very good. I've actually seen Problem use that CJ Spiller or us. He, he uses us CJ Spiller. I don't know who it is, but uh, that's somebody I'd recommend going with. So you've definitely got options at that price point. Um, I'm on green 97 could be an option too, but unless you're going to spend, you know, a ridiculous amount, I wouldn't go for it. But uh, once again, McFadden, um, Chris Johnson, they're definitely going to be upgrades from, from the Charles. I use the Charles as my backup. He's pretty good, but you can do a little bit better. Sproles, uh, Spiller, and those guys. All right, here we go. Um, let's take a look at another question in the mailbag. This one's coming in from Infinite Soul. Is it worth buying the multiple D playbook or a D playbook that is uh, in Ultimate Team? So once again, let's jump back into the auction house and take a look at this question because there are special playbooks in the game guys that aren't team playbooks. They're related to a coach and they're premium alternates which you can get out of the set but they do cost a pretty penny. Some cost more than others with the 46 playbook being one of the most expensive. Uh, let's see though what the multiple would run us. Be, but overall I would say not to spend this coin on the multiple until you really have your team. Yeah, no chance for 307,000 coins. Um, I'm going to argue that the Ravens defensive playbook and possibly the Saints playbook can afford you everything that this playbook can do in a different way. Yes, you're going to have to get a little bit creative. Yes, you're going to have to change some things up. But, I mean, 300K is a whole offensive line. Like, that's a lot of, of things. Gibbs, you know, spent for the 46. Or actually, Jazz fan hooked him up with the 46, but... I can't recommend it unless you're a really, really elite player, in which case even the really, really elite players would be able to find a different playbook at that cost until they really had the coin. So uh, be careful with that unless you pull it, but you're probably not going to pull it. So um, that's what we've got for you. All right, here we go. Next question in the mailbag. We just hit this one up. This is just a little pitch. Uh, are you entering the design contest? So EA has a design contest where you can actually uh, get a card into Ultimate Team. You can, you know, at, at last year they had a stadium thing. You could actually 
Um, you could design a uniform. It was a uniform contest that you could actually get into CFM, which is pretty sick. Um, I'm trying to find the link so that I could get it in the chat for you guys, but if you obviously go to the EA Sports Twitter, you'll be able to see um, everything that's going on uh, with it. So if you guys are good at Photoshop, which is something I'm not great at, you can you can design a legend for the game mode, and that's a pretty cool opportunity to get your, your card in the game. I did have a card once in the game. This guy right here, pretty handsome. And uh, there's that going on, so could be pretty sweet. Could be pretty sweet. X Dibs, you don't have the star next to your name, so I'm not sure if you did sub, but if it shows up, I will definitely get you on the list. Shout out to Boosted for checking us out. Um, next question in the mailbag, what is the best run from shotgun? So obviously shotgun formation, pretty good. He wants to know, do you run inside? Do you run outside? And we actually have a great playbook over here, and we're gonna take a look. It's the 49ers playbook. It's got some of the best shotgun runs in the entire game. So if I was gonna run the ball inside, what I would do is I would use definitely inside zone. So we wanna find an inside zone so we can give you an example. Uh, the Eagles playbook has lots of inside zones. Um, the read option actually technically sort of ends up being an inside zone uh, if you just hand it off to the halfback. So uh, let me see if I can find one. And if I can't, you can just use the read option as kind of that inside zone. On the For an outside run, guys, the halfback counter, obviously m the most deadly shotgun run in the game. Um, let's see if we can show you a quick example why. Depending on how many defenders they have on the edge and all that jazz, you're going to get pretty good block on the outside. And as long as they don't have an extra defender over there, the halfback counter can, it's a little bit, it can be a little bit hit or miss depending on the formation. There you see we cut it back inside and then Frank Gore, who has left the Niners for the Colts, uh, is able to cut it up. It's gonna work better from maybe different formations, uh, but here you see Frank Gore keeping it inside, pick it up nice chunk. So also O1 one trap. Uh, the O1 one trap is a run that if I was gonna run up the middle and I didn't have inside zones, but I had O1 one traps, I would pick those. I would not pick draw. I would not pick any of these veer or bases. They take too long to get going up field. I don't think you're gonna get the best bang for your buck. Last year you had the buck sweep read option. Not that good this year. Uh, strong power is good, but those don't tend to be in too many shotgun formations. They're more tend to be pistol um, style runs. So if you wanna run inside, inside zone, read option and just hand off, or a one trap. If you wanna run outside, half back counter, uh, strong power, but skip the half back base and then n runs you should, probably shouldn't call halfback draw unless they're really only rushing like one guy and I wouldn't run halfback base too often you can run it at a pinch but I wouldn't run it because it takes a little bit of a while to get going so um, that's what I would skip out on all right here we go um, let's see if we have any questions on the Twitterverse um, we told you guys to send those over at Madden Bible and Jeremiah Wilkes comes through with a big question. So we're gonna take this question from Twitter right now. Jeremiah Wilkes, how can I improve my user skills as quickly as possible at Madden Bible? So if I'm gonna try and improve my user skills, three things you need to do. Uh, one, you need to call a defensive play where you feel comfortable and you know what the assignment's gonna be. So if you're gonna play cover two sync, you don't need to play as a safety. Most people think, oh, I don't want to play as a safety. I don't want to get beat deep. That's okay. Play as a middle linebacker. Play as a guy in a hook. Don't play as this guy because see how deep he needs to get. You don't want to do that. You want to play as either this hook or this hook. And you could use cover three as well. So cover two or cover three. And then you want to play on the weak side. And you kind of want to watch the tight end. So you got to know your assignment, though. And you got to then, for the second step, you, you know you can't hurt your defense right now. Don't be afraid to get beat. Don't be afraid to lose. Start just playing, start getting confident, start playing more and more and more. After this though, you need to start to recognize route combos. Well, you need to figure out the formation before the snap. So this formation, right, I probably can guess, like Vernon Davis, he's, he can run stick, 
which is just a little curl route over the middle. So if I see that, I gotta know, boom, and then get there underneath and hopefully then make a play on the ball. Um, if Vernon Davis starts out on a streak route, then it could be some type of tight end corner. Obviously four verticals is a super popular uh, play. So if I see at the snap of the ball, uh, Vernon Davis start to break deep, well then I gotta bail out and hopefully get deep and at least maybe deter the throw. And we're just getting spec caught on all over the field. But if you know your assignment and you know where to be, that's the first step. And play a hook so you can't get hurt too bad. Two, if you know what formation your opponent's in and generally what the offense likes to do, like if it's a tight set, strong close, you know they're probably gonna quick throw. So stand there. Don't stand over here and then when they throw over here, be like, oh, I'm a bad user. No, you're just not involved in the action. Three, right when the snap happens. So curl flats is a very popular concept, right? Or, or slants is. And Davis is gonna run to the flat. So what I, what I would do in this situation is the second the ball snapped, I'm gonna see Vernon Davis run to the flat. And then I go, all right, I'm not covering him. Cause he's running out and now I, but now I know it slants and now I know I can jump the route. So if Vernon Davis runs a flat, it's either corner strike to the outside it slants across the middle or it's curls. So I need, I need to immediately then see the, see the flat, run either to the outside or stay in the middle, and then I need to sag off. That's all advanced stuff, but those three things, it's not about stick skill, it's not about thumb skill, it's about brain skill and then translating it to stick skill later. So that is how you become a better user. That's a great question um, for you guys. All right, let's go back to the chat. I'm just reading the chat, seeing what's going up. B. Pratt's asked us a question on Twitter. We got to find it. Where is it? Where is it? B. Pratt's. B. Pratt's. Where you at, bro? Not seeing it, but we do have other questions until I find that. Oh, B. Pratt's. What's the best way to use the Seahawks defensive playbook? Uh, B. Pratt's. That's a good question. If you want to win more games with the Seahawks defensive playbook, let me see if the Chiefs have anything um, that we can kind of use to be similar. So Chiefs, what are Colts? Start over. All right, Seahawks defensive playbook, what are they known for? They're known for playing cover three and cover one. One safety high, Earl Thomas, strong safety in the box, big, fast corners on the outside that can play man, they can switch and play zone, they can play one plays man, one plays zone, but they don't switch off with the guys. So. Um, to mimic that and kind of take advantage of some of the new plays that Madden's put in the game, what I would do is definitely play a nickel uh, type formation, whether you play 3 3 5 or 2 4 5. Try and find a cover one robber type play, but try and find one that has the word press built in. So maybe cover one hole, uh, but you want to find a cover one press play. Um, once again, cover one robber, but you want it to say press. And Dollar has that. If you can do that and mix in cover three just enough. So say we were going to call cover one robber, right? And we got Niners tight end post. This is actually be a good play to beat man to man. But um, because you know you're not going to get beat deep, you've got Cam Chancellor. This would be down in the box. The Seahawks playbook's loaded up with these. That's why I recommend it. Um, if you're not going to get beat deep, well, then... What's gonna beat you? A corner route's gonna beat you. And then you can use her this. So if you call cover one and call this, you're gonna have some success uh, from that playbook. And then I need to get down underneath. And hopefully that purple zone can get there and make a play on the corner. What you need to do though to be successful is call that like 40% of the time and then magically switch to cover three and see how it, you couldn't really tell that the defense was different. Um, maybe we dropped this guy in a purple. We use her here, or we use her here. And hopefully now we get a similar look. Our opponent thinks it's cover one. They try and go to the corner, and now the defense is there. So switch between cover three, cover one, press uh, with a book like Seattle, which has those plays built in because that is what their scheme was last season when they won the Super Bowl. Uh, when the game was made, obviously they lost the Super Bowl this year, but uh, that is going to make you the most successful with that. Let's get back to um, the question, Dr. J Killer, if you want to beat the fire zone blitz out of the four six, it's real tough. 
you do try and block some people if you can but you also want to hit the flat target the flat force their user to have to cover multiple routes see if you can run the ball uh, don't get in third and long situations but spread them out if you can quick reads if you're not great at passing i wouldn't recommend that but uh, because most people think if they're getting blitz they should spread out and go five wide and quick throw and that's true but then a good defender takes away their first read with a good user player and then they get sacked and then they go oh you, you need to block people if you can uh, against it so that's uh, what i'd recommend doing once again we're still taking your questions here on twitch uh, we've got some great new viewers tonight so we'd appreciate if you guys could follow the channel uh, s gibbs is now a comms specialist at ea for those of you guys that haven't heard you can take a look at his twitter for more info i will say that is not the reason he was not on twim the last two weeks we did not lie to you he did have hives on his face promise we 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 are honest no reason uh to mess around but he really did have hives um let's see we got the mutt uh giveaways for the sub hypes and we'd love a stream for the follow kc boy 21 i i do not work for ea however i do write the official strategy guide for prima games um which is why i have a giant poster and a shirt so i do i am a game changer i do go down there uh, quite a bit in play but i uh, do not officially work for them all right here we go let's take a look at another question from twitter you guys are got some pretty good ones going on tonight trevor uh this is a good one trev's my dude he wants to know what's the best way to defend low thrown curls in the three four zone type of blitz so if you're calling that three four defense what sometimes people will like to do is throw those low curls to the outside cause you a mega 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 headache um, i'll give you an example of what those are i'm sure everyone that's watching this show has probably had it happen to them if they've played online so we're going to take a look and see uh, if we can do that so for example anytime i call this nickel 245 right the buck slam because it doesn't have flat zones what people then will do is the pressure can get in but if if uh if you don't say you block somebody and then the pressure gets picked up or something tough blitz to block they just do that and then sometimes they cut up field and are able to curl so uh, that can be pretty difficult but the way i would stop that if if i was in three four um how I do stop it in 3-4 is I drop a flat zone. Let me just get that going. So once again, low curl to the outside is the headache. And I've actually had a lot of interceptions on mutt lunches with uh, this tactic. So I drop a flat, drop a flat. And this does a pretty good job. What I will do is I'll press triangle right stick up and then I'll pass commit. And that usually gets the flat to drop to... Um, there so that's how i would stop it um you just need to be smart enough to you need to be smart enough to know when to make the adjustment i understand you can't have a flat zone every time because it messes with your blitzes or uh, and it's tough to use and get all the way out there so you've got to balance it what i will say and i say this a lot on on mutt lunch which we stream on this channel during the week um so follow to know when we go live but i always talk about that play you call it right first down your opponent goes to the huddle second down they come out and they just saw what played you called they just saw that you called that play and they saw that play has no flat zones and then they think you're calling it again but then you hot route a flat zone and now they're in trouble so you're you got to remember your opponent when he's playing mind games he's seen what play you've called because the game tells you what play has been called and so if they're seeing a play without flat zones, they're gonna throw to the flat. But if you keep putting flat zones out there, that's why I get so many picks with Keekly, Wagner, and pick sixes too, that are valuable. So, because they don't expect flat zones, but you're just manually putting them in there. So that's what's what's good. Goose, gotta step up my game. Man-to-man uh, -man blitzes out of dimer quarters. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, just a little bit too much risk for my personal liking. It, it can be right if you time it right and switch right you could go db strike you could do a couple different things with those type of blitzes but um i wouldn't 
I'd stay zone in those situations and uh, see if you can dial up the pressure without going to man-to-man -man looks. Um, did guys just have trouble aligning and, and, and things just don't, can run, can run into trouble. We got sub hype? Is that what I hear? Sub hype? Who? All right, Mrs. Matabible, X dibs 99. He wants one of those sub squares. You, when you get an updated count, let me know. Uh, X dibs 99 wants to be involved in over 67 March Madness games. Low seed to way seed. Um, it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be pretty good. Whoever gets the most, uh, the most. So say your square hits more than once, because it can, it can in every game. And then all those little foul shots at the end of the game. I had 67 and 68. Ah, uh, if that guy had hit a foul shot, no. Why did they foul with two seconds left? Why did that guy hit a butter buzzer beater? It's gonna be ridiculously intense. Um, Casey Boy, I've covered that face catch thing on uh, YouTube. Definitely check us out over there. Uh, Carlos 14 Rosas, good question. Um, I'll hit that up right now. My mouse died. Uh, he wants to know what's the best, Carlos Rosas 14, what's the best offense in the game? I'm gonna say best offense playbook or best offensive scheme or what? I would say anything that gets you into manageable third down situations. The game specifically this year, very, very tough to convert third and long situations because of the way zone plays. So anything that can beat cover three consistently and anything that can run the ball early in the season or early in the down so that it's only third and two and you just have to use stick or, or something easy makes it much, much easier. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Colts book because uh, they're single back ace which is in most playbooks, allows me to get into good third and twos. I love the gun split close. It's an easy formation for me to pass of. It really attacks the flat nicely with cover three, uh, which is so popular. It always gets me, you know, eight yards potentially. Um, I know the Saints playbook is probably one of the most popular in the game. One thing that we looked at before the season even started when we were down at EA was pistol bunch tight end. We knew that formation was a winner from day one. Has the counter, has the... Uh, PA Fork, which is a formation we found on YouTube since, once again, before launch, uh, I called that play. And it's got strong power. It's got a little bit of everything. So that's one thing you see online quite a bit at the high levels. Um, Steelers book is good because it's similar to the Colts right now. People are really into the Raiders book on the Madden tips because we put a new scheme in there from it. Um, Running Gun is also a premium playbook in Mutt, but I broke down a scheme on that a couple shows ago. It's got some good strong close got some pretty cool formations. So those are the five playbooks I would say uh, you like. And those are the things you want to do on offense to get yourself uh, pretty good. All right, here we go. Um, let's take another question on Twitter real quick, and then we'll jump into game. Once again, we've got giveaways, and we've got um, some different things uh, to do. We've got to play some, some gameplay, actually, as well. Huh, let's see here. How do you stop edge rushing from the corners? You can use a CB blitz, so uh, let's take a look in game and see if we can we can dial up a CB blitz. Also, I'll give you a little pro tip. So let's get out of this. All right. Good question coming in from Twitter. Wants to know how can we stop edge runs from the corner? So we just talked about how powerful of a run the halfback counter is. And so you can either call a play on defense like uh, CB Blitz, which you could call uh, Cat Blitz 2 roll. So we'll, we'll take a look and see if, if that's something. So obviously the defense before the snap, this guy's gonna come in off the edge and hopefully that will help shut down the counter. It might not though, because Frank might be smart enough to cut it inside. So let's see what he actually does. And boom, that's a way where if you call this play that has a built-in uh, CB blitzing from the outside, you can get the job done. Uh, the reason that I think you might be getting beat though is because you do have this guy in a deep zone. And when he's in a deep zone and say you maybe pass commit, watch his first step on the left. So the guy on the 20 yard line on the left side of the screen, watch his first steps. He backs away completely from the run. And so you don't have any support out on that outside left edge. So once again, we're gonna pause it, pause it show you real quick. Um, 
this guy's first step. I'm sure you saw it, but he backs away, backs away. Now he goes down, and that's way too long. Now he's out of the play. Now Crabtree's blocking him, and you're in trouble. So you can you can call cover two, and that at least gets a flat zone up. Um, and then if you don't run commit, at least the flat zone doesn't back away, and he's at least over there fighting with the blocker, and somebody's come, able to come in and make the play. You could also call cover three, and against certain formations where the offense doesn't have an opponent, uh, doesn't have a receiver lined up. So say you're gonna you know, base a line or, or whatever. You wanna bring gains in, and then maybe you man up Crabtree. So look at now, I've got a, a, a guy manned up, I've got the deep safety, and I've got gains in here, and now I'm gonna have much better cornerback support. I mean, he still got blocked, but at least he was there to, to get in the way, kind of make things muddy for the defense. So that's a way that you can use those CB blitzes. Um, but I would just call a built-in play, or if not, you could also just blitz. If, even if you're in cover three and you don't want to put him in a flat, uh, you could just blitz him. But I'd probably put him in a flat and see if and see if you can stop. But the stock play is going to be a little bit better, and that will work to get it up uh, in the box and hopefully have him make a play. All right, back to the Madden Tips chat. Any other subs we've got tonight? We're full? All right, give me that count when you know. The, the fans are chomping. The fans are chomping. This is mad about reporting that the sub squares may be full. They may be full. I'll, I'll hold tight. We'll, we'll update you uh, shortly here. Um, let's take a look at the next question from Twitter. Um, and see what we've got. Money play from the Raiders to beat cover three. This is from my man C. Garrell, who's across the pond. Um, so C. Garrell, the Raiders playbook, we just updated it in the winner's kit, so I can't give you exactly what we put in there, but um, there's some really good motions from some of the bunch stuff that can really cause a headache. So you've got single back, bunch, Maybe you go with a play like Seattle. One thing I like to do is swing out the, the halfback. So I'm going to get great blocking to, to, uh, to Frank Gore here. And I can potentially use this. Uh, Steve S. Gibbs has something he likes to do where he, he'll do like a little hitch, motion him out, and just kind of quick throw it. But uh, once again, that's fully broken down in the winner's kit, when to do it, when not to do it all that, but I'll just kind of like to clear things out and see if I can kind of create a run pass roll option to Gore and use the spin move to pick up yards. So if I'm facing a cover three and, I'm, and I know I'm really kind of only going against a flat zone, I'm gonna try and find a way to get better blocking too, but I would use something like this verticals, try and roll with cap, see, I was hoping Bolden would pick up a block, but um, with the right back and the right combo, instead of making that a three yard gain against the flat, you can make it an eight yard gain and that's what makes beating cover three doable in the game this year because uh, those things are so it's so challenging to get consistent yards against cover three that you need to have those type of plays in your offense uh, to have luck. All right, let's take another look at Twitter. Um, Uh, we hit up that question. We've got we've, we've hit up most of the questions and I think we are gonna hop into a game here on Xbox and we'll get that going. So um, any final questions from the chat? We'll get an updated count on the sub hype. We're gonna get over to Xbox and get a giveaway going as well. Uh, I'm gonna give away AJ Green right now. So Adriel Jeremiah green is going to be given away right at this moment in time uh, if you would like to rt uh, a little tweet we can get that going um, i'm going to start with that though as i think it's just his time i do like the the aj green i would like to give away the alshon jeffrey but he's good for run blocking even though he's dropped a couple big passes for me i appreciate hot sticks hooking me up with him and you can never give away a card that somebody gave you it's like that scene in old school where he gives them back the gift he already gave him he's like i got you this for your wedding he's like this exact model no this exact one can't give away alshon jeffrey um 
Adriel Jeremiah, where you at, bro? Thought he was a 93. Yes, he is. All right, trade. So he's going to go up on the block for three days, 11 hours. And I'll have a trivia question. Um, I'll need you to send me a certain card, a certain item. And we'll, we'll uh, work, that, work that out for you. But we are going to play um, some Madden as well right now. Open this pack real quick. We did get a head-to-head -head master pack for completing an all-Madden season. In all Madden 1 where we did not get demoted despite on Mutt Lunch we did a 10 game season challenge where we changed playbooks every single game. So real quick um, what, what that means is for our last 10 games in Ultimate Team here's the playbooks we used. San Francisco week 1, uh, Kansas City week 2, Raiders week 3, Eagles week 4, Titans week five, Steelers week six, Colts week 10, uh, Saints week seven, I think Bronco, no, we never used Broncos. Uh, There's two more we used, but we fell back in love with the Steelers. We did, we did, we gotta be honest with ourselves. Uh, so tonight, we used the Titans. It was, it went terrible, even though it's a playback I love. We used the Seahawks offense for a game, and I enjoyed it. So um, the hardest part is basically the Titans playbook has everything I want in an offensive playbook. It's just that it doesn't work. I can't explain it. It has all the formations. It has, it's got everything I like. I just don't know why I can't be good with it. It's, does anybody else have that problem? It's the same thing, similar thing with the Seahawks. Um, playbook. It's got some things that I like, but every time I go and do it, it doesn't want to seem to work that well. So it, that's what that's what makes that's what makes playing the game tough. You gotta like the Colts playbook has less good plays than the Steelers, but I don't. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm in a mental pretzel, guys. I'm in, I put myself, put my own self in a mental pretzel. We'll get Jordy, we'll get, we'll put Demarius. No, is Demarius terrible now? Demarius, you know Demarius Targaryen is the father of dragons? Did you guys know that? I don't know. I don't know. All right, here we go. We'll start a season. We might play a game of ranked on PS4. Uh, a little bit later, so I, I see you in there, little trash man. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you stopping by tonight. Uh, once again, while we load into game, we've got uh, your man S. Gibbs. He's now a comms specialist at EA, uh, according to his Twitter, which you can uh, check out for more info. He will still be uh, part of the community, still be hanging out. He's just getting settled in Florida, so. That's, he's not gonna permanently not be around. He's just been super busy, I would assume. Uh, for those of you guys, he'll still be over on realgamer.com for the guys that are looking to stream. Um, for those looking to stream to build and grow your channels, guys, streaming's still super new. Uh, people are really excited about the opportunity that streaming is presenting. Uh, get, it, get it started now. Don't wait until Madden 16 comes out. Uh, get your stream up and running now, and then when Madden 16 comes out, you'll already be in position for success. So don't uh, don't delay. Head on over to Real Gamer. Check that out. And uh, be ready to have a successful stream now. There's a lot of questions. What if nobody shows up? What equipment do I need? Um, you should be a little, a little nervous, but... Uh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't let it stop you because we've answered all the questions you could want to know about starting. All right, let's see if we can get a big hit here on this kickoff. I'm going to zoom in a little on myself. I heard, I heard you guys say you like a tighter face cam. That's what I'm going to deliver. That's what I'm going to deliver today. <clears throat> All right, this should be pretty good. Let me get the 
chat going. Oh, this should be pretty good. I'm gonna turn this table around. Probably gonna break some serious, some serious stuff as well. All right, we've got the chat. Ultra Banana Man in the house. What up, Banana Man? Um, yeah, once again, the reason S. Gibbs hasn't been around is not because he is working at EA. It's because he had hives on his face. Legitimately wouldn't lie. Um, all right. This guy's going to come out in a three wide receiver set first down. That could be a couple different things. Pistol. What did I do? I already accounted for the read option. I thought about what formation it could be. I now know that he likes to run the counter, which means I have to consider my 3-4 odd defense, which is more of my counter defense if it gets out of hand. But I'll let him hang out for a little bit because if he tries to sneak in a throw here, I could get a sack. Um, this could be a good time for him to pass though, because he's in a good situation. Come on, Clay. There you go, Clay Clay. What do you say? What do you say? Could you guys believe that he threw that? Could you guys believe that he threw that? I totally thought. Check. Is this thing on? I think it's on. I thought I used that all the way. I would have liked maybe an animation there. Chat, what do you got for me, chat? You got practice mode audio? Let me turn this one on. Yeah, I should be now getting some game audio. Hopefully that works for you. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. Misdirection, right. Second down, four to go. To Jones. So with that mo with that auto motion, when I knew then when he snapped it and it wasn't a run, I knew it was that little corner corner out there, but I already had the corner out covered with the flat, so I should have stayed in the middle. I got a little over eager. Um that's on me. That's on me. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. You see that's what I was hoping for. That he would pass and I could get a sack. He did try and run four verticals there. He thinks he can beat me in the scene. I might go to Dollar. Man here. He gets the hit on the QB and takes him down. The Dolphins and the Jets. Twice a year and always a very good rivalry. It is a good rivalry, the AFC East, because the New York pick. Jets have Champ. So That's a pick. Champ Bailey's too strong, guys. That's cover one. I don't care how fast your receiver is, you're probably not going to beat me over the top of it. And remember the guy that I told with the Seahawks question to run more cover one? That's exactly what you want to do. For sure. So this this playbook is not the Colts. So the misdirection does have a little auto motion. Kind of makes it bad, but I don't know. As they head to the line. How could I be certain? It's a two tight end formation. There's Jeffrey. Takes it on the counter. Bo was Bo was Bo was this close to a crib shot. Crib shot. I was so close to a crib shot. Um, Second and two, I'm just going to pick up the first down because I'm not out of my own territory yet. Um, I'm going to try and just pick up the first down. Notice I'm holding RB so that I cover up so that I don't hold it. And now that I've got a first down, I could probably pass. I could probably you know, feel more comfortable now. Uh, he's not blitzing. He's not doing anything too crazy. So that, that makes me feel good, and that's why I like to run the first couple downs. Once again, second and two. Even if I don't pick it up, it's third and two. Now I'm in a good situation. We talked about getting good situations earlier in the night. So, 
Let's see what we want to do here. The Jets again will run the football. Bow with a nice run to get to the edge. Uh, we were able to stay out of his range of any potential tackles. Here, I'm going to go to the split close for the first time. Once again, this is something that the Colts playbook has that's pretty similar. Um, so I like that. I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat over here. Oh, I'll tell you what. Is that true? take the snap from the gun. He's got the catch. I let me tell you something. So, I just ran the, the gun split close. I want to say... No. That doesn't make sense. That the icons for the receivers for the halfback and the slant are flipped. But that can't be right. But that would make sense because I threw... So when I put bow on a swing pad, I'm really putting Reggie Wayne. I think that might be backwards in those two playbooks. We have eight spots left. Eight spots left for the sub. Do you want to show? Yeah. It's been intense for Mrs. Madden Bible. So if they have a dot, then that means that they're in. So if you have a dot, that means you're subbed and you are in this. Um, what? Ultraman Man is not in? But he thinks he's in in the chat, right? No, he's, on the he's on the front. Is he dotted? Nope. He's not dotted. He's in the chat tonight. I know. I heard I, you say his name. I like Banana. Man. I know. Um, but he's not subbed in, so we've got eight spots left. We'll see if anybody else hypes it up. If they if they sub hype, that's what they get. And, uh, that's what we'll do. Right back to him. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. When you're going against a really UK Rhinos on there, there's nothing like you get a star next to them. Anybody with a star next to their name, that, that what they would be. In. They go that would be and you stuff. counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Second down coming up. Uh, also, if you're in the Madden Secret Society, which is a is for the subgroup, then you get to enter a bracket, which is just separate. Because bracket takes a little bit of talent. This is just kind of random, but it's fun. So and so you don't need to feel like I don't know the teams. You just have to watch the end of the game and see if your scores pop up. Um, I'm going to say this here. So one thing I like about the Steelers book, and I'm not going to do it yet. I want to get a lead first. Um, they've got strong close, which the Colts don't have. They've got um, they got a really nice shotgun empty, and they have bunch base instead of bunch, which is what the Raiders have. So I would argue that this book's like a blend of the Raiders and. Colts playbooks in a certain way. So if I can, if I can kind of maybe get back to my basics. I used to use this playbook and it's pretty good. I like it. Um, I'll turn I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. This is, could be dumb, but it could be awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, he's back. All right, the banana man can't let us down. He's part of. Uh, he's got a good Madden crew that he streams with himself. I, I like to lurk in his. He, he tweets me when he goes live. Sometimes I can share it, sometimes I can't. But I do like to uh, check out the crew stream with the Banana Man from time to time. I lurk. I lurk. Most most people, they, they, sometimes I show up, sometimes I type in the chat, sometimes I just lurk. I'm like Chuck Norris. This is not my work. I, do I don't sleep. I just wait. Two minute warning. At this point, we, we kind of want to wait and see if we can score. I don't know. You want to score with like a little bit of time left. But Anna Man wouldn't let us down. Team sub height. We only got seven spots left. It sets up second down and eight. This long drive continues. Good, good catch by Gronk there, and now third and three. Go back to it on third and three. Go back to the well one more time. Could also, one thing I can do, I can scramble with Vic, which I, I've been doing more and more. 
He'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Fumbled. Oh no, that's not good. Couldn't get out of my own way up the middle, so that's a bummer because we would have got ball in half. Maybe we should have just tried one end zone shot. And take a three. I don't know. Michael, 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 Michael. You hurt us, Michael. You hurt the team. Let's see. We're going to. I think he's probably going to run counter here, and we're going to try and shut him down. But he might not. No, he is. We're gonna we're gonna lock him up. And, nope, he audible. See when he audibles. Pick that Sherman. Get your feet in. Ah, Sherman hit it. That was an interception. He caught it, but he didn't get his feet down. He audibled there. When he audibles, it actually messes up my setup. So at least he then didn't run it. Um, he's kind of just hucking streaks. I don't really know. What to say to that? Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Quarters formation here for the defense. Let's go. From the gun. Nice slot man. That's CPU QP59. You had a Super Bowl square and you're still sub. You're already in. And you're still sub. You're already in. And it was like 93, 91 out of 100 out of 100 people still had it. So. You're good. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. We just need, I think, a couple more. If not, though, I'll I'll pick up the rest and then I'll build them to ask it. I was going for the swap there. It's going to be fourth down. Please don't go for it. I mean, I don't care. I'm going to stop them. I'm just going to throw a touchdown. And I'm going to get ball and score at half. And I'm going to be up 14. But it just seems foolish. Seems consistent with the behavior of someone who's about to give up. Or give up a safety, I'll take. See, I would actually argue that not sacking him there in the end zone is a smarter play because then I get a touchdown. Here I get ball and I'm going to get a touchdown, but two points is nothing. I'd rather much rather have seven in the next like couple plays. Pro tip, you can't punt out of bounds on a safety. Are you going to quit? Coke, you think this guy's going to quit? I hope not. He quit. <gasps> he, he quit. I don't know. That's terrible. Why do people quit? Do you know? Give up. I have a question. Can't give up. You deal a lot with young children. Do they ever just quit and give up? No. Young kids don't quit and give up. Why wouldn't an adult do such a thing? Did I beat him? It was only two to. It was only two to zero. Oh, oh, that's sad. It's sad, right? It's sad that people just quit. I don't know what to tell you. I usually sing the song though. It goes na 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 na, na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye. Cha cha cha. That's how it goes. <laughs> Who quits? Honestly, I won two to zero. It's disappointing. I mean, I was, I was just, I mean, I was gonna win by more, but I'll tell you who quits though. I've actually kind of figured it out because I always say who quits, but yeah, I'll tell you who quits. It's the guy that goes for it on fourth and ten from his own eight yard line. And takes a safety. That's the guy. I guess we got to play again because that wasn't that wasn't a full experience no. for the fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause you and me, we gotta be the luckiest streamers to ever be streaming. W pool. He's asked that question a lot, a lot of times. Oh, really? oh. <laughs> uh, freak. Azold Frizz. What I'm using right now is the Steelers offense. Uh, back from I was using the Colts for a long time. Then I played 10 games with a different playbook every time, and I used the Steelers. I kind of liked it. Uh, like Katy Perry, I used the Steelers playbook, and I liked it. Sub squares for March Madness starts tomorrow. Home team, away team. Actually, you want to write this on there as well. If you could write lower seed slash home team, higher seed slash away team. Um, and you can, you can take off the Seahawks things. So here's what I'm thinking is uh, 
lo like the lower seed. So like the ones and put for example the one the one seed. And then the higher seed is going to technically be the away team. And they'll they'll be that. We might have to go to PS4. Cuz Xbox is being a difficult. If we do go to PS4, we're going to play did it freeze or is it going to let me in a game? I, Teflon, what does she do when she's not here? I think she plays Hearthstone and reads the chat and watches Scandal or Dancing Scandal. Bachelorette. That's Monday. Bachelorette's Monday. Chicago Fire. Special Monday. Um, for those in the chat, once again, S. Gibbs, now a communication specialist at EA. You can check his Twitter bio for more. He still will be a part of the community, guys. He'll still be here uh, hanging out. He's not abandoning you. He's just getting set up in Florida. So that's the reason he's not around. She also, uh, Teflon, when I, come out, she, when I come out of the room, she always goes, wow, you told me. People that Eskips had highs a lot on this show. I'm like, yeah, because people don't tune in at the start. They tune in in the middle, and then they're like, where's Eskips? I'm like, he's got highs. I have to keep telling them over and over again. D Stu's crashing the wedding. I think Tweezy's crashing the wedding. D Stu's the guy with the shirt. D Stu, can you link the shirt to Mrs. Matter Bible? She was interested in the Farrells Is Bay uh, shirt. Let's see here. We got the misdirection. Once again, switch to the Steelers, though. The Giants keep it tough. Oh, we were close to a touchdown. If we can keep full speed there and not have to run into him, that's, that's a good shot. So if that was like second in one, I would run the 0-1 trap here. But since it's not second in one, I go back to the direction. Gibbs got eaten by a bear. Uh, out, no, uh, alligator's good, but I don't, there's a guy. There's this dude on the internet from Miami Hurricanes. I would like to dispel the rumors that I did not get eaten by a bear. Not one iota. Not one iota. Uh, we could tweet that to S. Gibbs. It might stress him out, but it would be kind of hilarious because he would know. That. S. Gibbs, are the rumors that you got eaten by a bear and haven't been on to him true? He would be like, not one iota. Yes. Yeah, you can click that. It's pretty sick. It's kind of Ed Hardy esque. Oh my God. <laughs> I might wear that under my suit. That's amazing. So this guy's... I think I need one. Are you co-hosting now? You can co-host. You can co-host if you want. It's time for you to learn to play Madden anyways. Yeah. You're good at Mario Kart. Mario Party? Jamal Charles? Michael Vick? What are you what like what are you guys not getting here? Tony Hawk? I scored a million in the warehouse. A uh, million in the warehouse the other day for Hold Fast Hope. He challenged me. Alright, come on, Mike. From the shotgun. Pick. Nope, not a good enough user by my opponent right there. I'm not sure what's happening with that flat pass to the left. That, that's usually the one. Uh, once again, this does have bunch base, different than bunch. If you're in the winner's kit, make sure you check out uh, the scheme. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. He's scrambling down. As it's very challenging to shut down. We got the single back. Let's go back. Let's go. I think corner strikes a quick audible, so I don't think I need to come out on it. 
Um, pod stick. It's a tough dream. I've looked. I looked for a lot of years. But, you know, you gotta get, get take what you can get, as they say. Uh, is ABNZ, can you see ABNZ's finest in there? He's, uh, he's, he's local to the Metro West area. He eats pizza peddler, so he's cool. He's on my list. Cool people. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. All right, let's. I think I can rush. Watch this. This guy is begging me to do something stupid, and I'm gonna take the bait, guys. I'm gonna take the bait every single time. Takes off with it. So that's playmaker. That's one of my favorite things to do against defenses that are too pinched together. Um, I can't resist. I can't resist. We need seven more sub squares to fill it out. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Um, you know what you can do? If we if we don't fill them up, what we'll do is we'll give whoever won an imposter. He won two. Of the Super Bowl ones, maybe he gets a double dip. Um, and then D Stu did not win, he would have won if Marshawn Lynch had run in for a touchdown. But unfortunately that we all know that didn't happen. It's Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll goofed up, I, I would say. Maybe not. But it didn't work out in his favor. Chat's intense. The chat's, the chat's intense. If you had to play a game and check out the chat, it's even more intense. Uh-oh. All right. Not too bad there. Looks like he has the Darren McFadden, which is the combine version, which is a running back we recommended earlier for under 120,000 coins as a speed back, 97 speed. You can use Chris Johnson. You can use CJ Spiller. You can use Dr. Sproles. Uh all those guys as options if you want to upgrade from that Jamal Charles or Jamal Farrells as they say alright I'm not afraid oh we got sub hype we got sub hype you leave for one second we get sub hype I don't know if you should come back maybe stay out there I think they like to see you walk in and out of the room I think uh, Black Rain with a G alright Black Rain with a G. Hashtag sub hype. He's getting a square. He's a mark. Dude, it's going to be. When I tell these people tomorrow, like, how difficult it's going to be for them to keep track of all the March Madness games. Like, you think, oh, I got my square numbers. This is easy. Dude, they're going to watch everything. There's no doubt about it. Nice job. We got our own bring back Gibbs hashtag. That leads us to I was on team down. fire Gibbs for, for bad haircuts. Again, e out again eaten by uh, a bear. And can at least, all right, not everybody do it, but can at least like five people tweet S. Gibbs and go, are the rumors true you're not on swim because you got attacked by a bear? Five people. I need five people. Create a mission. And I guarantee that his response will be not true, not one iota. Big hit. Uh, once again, guys, we only had one guy off that edge, but it's Terrell Suggs. He's on a very specific assignment, a very specific set of skills obtained over many years, much like Liam Neeson, and that's why he held up in coverage. I like people. Okay, this is not going to work off the right edge. This will not work off the red edge. This will not. If he passes, we're, we're okay. He ran a zig route. Interesting texture. Interesting old play call strategy there, Cotton. We'll see how it works out. There. I'm expecting him to run like stick. I'm going to shade my zones down. I'm going to pick this guy in the flat. How do you guys feel about that? I've got, I've got a couple resumes. We can do some guest some guest hosting. Maybe maybe Daryl can come back. He's gonna run right. He's gonna get shut down. This guy's locked. 
This guy's cold. The Giants from the 37. Here's the handoff. Get a first down. It worked, but it's a risk. I call the a, a, diff, a pass defense. But why would you run a play that takes that long to develop on fourth and two? Risky. I know it's a good run, but I know I just told everybody it's a good run, but come on, man. Come on. Set up downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Wide receivers are bunched up. We're in trouble to the right. We're in trouble to the right. That's for sure. But not if Mario Super Mario Williams gets in there. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now um, they have a good situation. I'll try. I, I'm trying to read the chat as much as I can. Obviously, I got uh, second down coming up. I'm just trying to play and read. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Switch. The quarterback motions the wide receiver back to the So I got this run cage. Well, we still got a close game here, and you gotta try to keep it that way. It's third long and you're losing the football game. Don't take a chance on the offensive side. Alright, we're going quarters. We're gonna gas this cat up. I'm expecting a sack in the backfield. Um we also subbed out Chris Harris for Jonathan Banks. We're trying out Jonathan Banks. Why not? How bad could he be? Can't be worse than Chris Harris. With all due He's under center, so I don't really like this play call anymore. Byron Maxwell. Drop it. Fourth and 15, are you going to punt? He's going to go for it. He's going to go for it. I will tell you... He quits. It's the guy down. that goes for it on fourth and fifteen. Fourth and fifteen. Matthew Stafford will be under center. The Giants snap it at the thirty-six. This is going to set up a change of possession. <sighs> the Giants really feel comfortable. Because we got each other sharing the laughter. No. See, I want to go empty steeler for you guys because I want to show you the scheme. But the problem is I don't have a big enough lead yet. I think I can win this game pretty this easily, but begins for the offense with a very good chance to score. Defense with plenty of bodies. Escapes, is it true you were attacked play. by a bear in the offseason? Uh, that is not true, not one iota. Once again, this play is very hard to use her because you can still get open. Uh, even if they use it, you can you throw it with a different lead and extend it, or you can cut it back, or you can just do different things that make it tough to defend. It's not a matchup we see all that often, although they meet every year in the preseason. How about Giants and Jets? That was a very nice Franco boss. Don't do that. That hurt my feelings. The old phrase bragging rights, I do believe that's true, and I think there's always more pressure on the Giants to win. Because rain or shine. All the time. We've the two-minute warning here in the first half. All right, let's try and just go to the end zone here. Let's cut the small talk. Try and score a touchdown. Call Johnny Bench right here. They're able to move the chains after that last run. It's, it's so I think it's only funny if it's a bear, but I like the shark. I like the alligator. Here for the defense, lining up in the four six. Jimmy Graham. Touchdown. Let's go. What do you say? Thank you very much. We missed it. Oakland Raiders offense. With an assist to be a tweezer. Yeah, yeah. Jimbo Slice Grant. Did you guys ask us Gibbs if he got attacked by a bear? I gotta go to Twitter. He, he might get mad, but I, don't, I think he has to appreciate it. Uh, the video in question, if you guys Google Danny Boy Canes. If you guys Google uh, Danny Boy Canes, like C-A-N-E-S, like Miami Hurricanes, that's, that's where this is from. This guy's just throwing deep, buddy. Offense lines up here. Well, one of the prettiest plays in the NFL, maybe in all of sports, is still the long pass down the field that is probably the fa my favorite video, internet video of all time. Danny Boy Canes. 
Is it true you were attacked by a bear? Not one iota. Not one iota. Special... I don't know who I'm playing. Reminder, shout out to... Uh, Some tonight. Oh, X dibs. You put X dibs on there, right? The Giants in the pistol formation. They run the counter play. The ball is out. Nice job that time by the offense. Even though they fumbled, at least they were quick enough and smart enough to get it on it. We'll update this bad boy. Uh, also, I'll I'll post a picture of it in the Madden Secret Society on Facebook uh, for the subs, so that. Um, Everyone knows what their numbers are. And, dude, it's going to be nuts. Should I stream tomorrow with the tournament going on or no? What do you guys think? X dibs 99. Hammers are out in full force. Absolutely. Second and 13, I fully expect a downfield down user for a one on one. The Giants will approach this play from out of the pistol. Big sack lunch right there. 43 seconds left. That knocks him out of field goal range, which is important. XDibs99. Email me, zfarls at maddentips.com. zfarls at maddentips.com. I will let you in after the show. He's gonna just. I uh, shouldn't have left this guy out there on the blitz. Once again, guys, I just kind of doubled up coverage. He should punt, obviously, but he can't take a field goal because he's out of range. We'll see what he's gonna do here. I would expect him to kind of try and throw downfield again, which means I could go to quarter three deep. Uh, yeah, because look, when he's in too wide, he's just going to block everybody. And this is kind of the good for that. Is going to go for it. Yeah, he could throw in the seam here, but we should still be covering it pretty good if that happens. He took a delay game. It's going to now be a 4th and 26 instead of a 4th and 21. So another bold strategy here by my opponent. Road sodas in a house? That makes me happy. Of course Road Sodas is on the sub list. He's the funniest man in the Madden community. That's why he that's why. But no, yes, it's good to have Road Sodas here. Champ Bailey with the pick. Do we take it out? We take it out. We take it out. We take it out. We take it out. We brought it out. Champion. Okay. Nice play there. What's up, June Cab? How's it going? Uh, Kid Knight, I don't know what you typed because I'm not going to guess. So. Could be true, could not be true. I don't know what you like. Um, let's see. Much love to Steven the Beast for uh, helping out in the chat tonight. Doing a good job. They bring in the extra tight end. Baby, rain or shine. Gonna try and scramble now. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. So we need to just kind of try and get into field goal range if we, if we, if we can. That's the situation that we're in in this game. So um, this is a good time to use empty stealer. I don't want to throw a pick. It's my only issue. But what are you going to do? The Jets are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. The Jets have it at the 34. So right there, what happened was, I haven't ran that play in a while. I motion snap the receiver on the left, but if you mo if you hike him before he sets, then he blocks. So then I lost the receiver, and then... That's why you should not run plays you guys. I probably say that a lot. 
Split backfield here. Right 20. Right 20. The running back goes We're going to try and hit Reggie Wayne on a corner route. They'll go shotgun here. Now on the move. It was open. So right there, we played the run pass game with the CB. And it turned out to not uh, really work for us. We're getting into field goal range on this snap right here. The Jets come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Scrambling out of the pocket has the reception all along. Chris Carter. Go down. Chris Carter, if you're not going to get into field goal range, just get tackled. That's the first one they've used. Uh, we're going to run just a fade on vertical. So we're going to call... Do we not have verticals? That's what's wrong with this playbook. I got it. I got it. First down, Baby, rain or shine. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. Getting away from the pressure. Launches it down the field. Kobe. 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 Well, you got a lead. Now you're able to go out there and drive down the field and score a touchdown. This changes how the other team. That was a big play right the there to end the half. That's 21 0. I think we don't get ball though, but that's okay. Um, we like to try verticals. Uh oh, he just. Nope. Okay. Did we teach this guy a lesson? I think we teach this guy a lesson. You try and block my kick. I accept it. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. But then I accidentally pick field goal block. But then I take a timeout, and then I run here. here. And they have one left. Boom, boom. Actually, I throw to Rob Brown. And I get a two point. But you tip it, and I don't keep it. for the two, and they are turned away. That will bring us to the end of the second quarter here. Uh, Kroner Hut, you can, we'll if you block who's ever on auto motion, it will just cancel play action. That's how that works. Oh. I don't even have anybody that I can beat in NHL anymore. Daryl comes over and beat me in NHL. I skipped used to let me win. That was probably the nicest thing he ever did. Too bad he got e uh, eaten by a bear. Not one iota. Alright. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Try and we have a shutout streak going this season. We won our last game 2 to nothing. Uh, guy quit after the third inning. Going to the ground game, the first play. Stafford lines up in the pistol. Here's the handoff to Darren McFadden. See, guys, like, yes, I could go on three, four odd and tackle that play for a loss, but it's like, okay, he gained three yards. Is it annoying? Yes. But if he passes, he's probably going to get sacked, and I'm up with a lead, so, like, what? Like, what's the deal? In this situation, every time he's gone to this, he has user caught. Ch tried to user catch. Uh, so, I'm not falling for it. If he wants to run something, he can run. Like, Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Pick That's Richard Sherman. Sure. Let's go. Dance for me. Dance for me, girl. Shermanator. Trip. Boom. Ebert, 42, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Love it. This guy just blocked an extra point. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Now we're going to punish him. Not cool. Yeah, who's so Who blocks an extra point? I don't know. Got to teach this guy a lesson. He's teaching me a lesson. Teaching me how to annoy me while I'm winning by 26 points. That's his lesson to me. That's his gift to me. Question of the day. 
who do you have the winning the NCAA tournament right in your brackets? That's what I would like to know. He's going to try and use a catch here. Who cares? Sherman. Sherman. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. I would like to know, should, I know June Cab's taking the Wildcats, but anybody else that's not biased, let me know who they're taking. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Quarters formation here for the defense. And the give to Darren McBeth. This guy's so mad because he just takes the any yards. Kentucky over Duke, Kentucky over Virginia, Louisville, Providence. No way Providence wins the NCAA championship. Fun fact, back in the day, Providence had Lamar Odom, C. Farrell's ball boy for the Providence Flyers. They're not the Flyers. They are the Flyers? Fri no, fri Friars. Friars. Like Friar Tuck. Providence Friars. Dayton Flyers. I was ball boy for Lamar Odom. They made no, he went to Rhode Island. I'm not smart. You are right. You are right. Do better, Foss. Do better. Do better. I'm with you, Rogue Sodas. I'm goofing up, but I was the ball boy. And it was fantastic. Actually, it's a horrible job. You gotta sit down the whole game on not a chair, you gotta sit on the court. Hurts your knees, then at the, the drop of a sweat, you gotta get up. Uh, you gotta get up, sweep the court, and then sit back down before you get tackled by a bunch of guys that are like six to eight. Terrible job. I'd rather, it's basically like working in a sweatshop. See what I did there? Because I had to wipe up sweat. It's like a sweatshop. Uh, anyway, this guy's. Definitely got an onside kick, am I right? No, he's got a regular kick, but he's going to squib at Bobby Wagner's face, correct? No, he's going to kick normal. Alright, still need to punish this guy. Providence, Maryland in the finals. No chance, Red Sodas. No chance, my friend. I respect your, your grit. You have true grit, like the, the guy... The Jets. Ready Rooster now, Cogburn, you have two grit, but that seems like a silly selection. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. First down and ten. He takes it on the counter. All right, Bo. Pick up some yards for me. Yards away from a first down. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time. Uh, the let me see who else. Then a pulling guard or tackle comes around. Ewan Blondin has Duke. I like Ewan Blondin. Not only is he a subscriber. And got a sub square, but he also, I think, made the straw poll for us. So I could choose my playbooks. So that is cool. Master and has Iowa? I don't know, bro. I don't know about that. No offense. Nova for G Gwibbs. Civil Carnage sticking dude. X Dibs has Syracuse. I don't think they're in it, but I feel you. Michigan State's always a tough out, am I right? D Stu, I'll try and check the Twitter. Here we're just keeping the rock. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Let me see the shirt. It's now second down. I like the shirt. I like the shirt, these two. We're back here in this lopsided nice. game. Not one iota. Coming I'm gonna up, tweet that video down. out later. An extra tight end on the field for this All right, one. We are gonna throw. Take the snap, oh, the first here to in the Bobo and spin. And don't fumble. Okay. We're just going to choke this guy out with uh, the clock. A little milk and cookies. Hit him with a little dunk here, dunk there. Dink and dunk. 
We're gonna run this one to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the front, to the front, to the butt, to the butt. Now slide, slide. Come on, come on. All right. So we have, we have, we have strong close. We haven't run it yet. We've got gun empty. We haven't run it yet. Second down here. It's pretty good. Trey, you can't mod yet, but maybe in the future. Split backfield here. Takes it from the gun. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. This you guys play, saw that, right? Keep these wide receivers and you guys saw that, right? You just can't come out there and play man to man every play and think that's going to work. You got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, Wait. and then occasionally go man to man cover. What? Xbox, record that. You guys saw that, right? This guy can't quit now because we need... We need to see that after the game in real instant replay. And if he quits, we lose instant replay. So now we need this guy to come back. Also, my game's frozen. Was that the best thing that's ever happened? Reggie Wayne just did a full backflip, like Brock Lesnar, shooting star, press type deal. Rob Van Dam. Preposterous. Preposterous. Can't wait. Can't wait to watch an instant replay. If you watched us play the NHL that one time, we had that ridiculous thing happen. With the check. Double tight end formation. They'll go ground, trying to plow ahead. And there's a timeout, so we'll take one with them. You're watching the NFL. Xbox, we that. Sports. That's second down coming up. That was intense. If you missed my Richard Sherman highlight, uh, that's something you want to see as well. It's pretty similar. We're going to take this, uh, he called timeout, obviously. Make sure to follow the old channel arena if you can we're gonna pass because we're stupid because we're stupid okay so here's my thing there right you want to stay in bounds keep the clock moving but if you can get the first down that so third and inches that only gives guarantees me one more play first down gives me three more plays to run the clock so i don't mind going out of bounds because a fumble could have happened there. i did cover up but um you know that's what i'm into Bo Jackson, do work. Do work, son. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense—they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits. The Taylor Mays pick I recorded yesterday, or no, the Taylor Mays. Uh, he just baptized. He just crushed, crushed some dude. My Richard Sherman. If, if it doesn't make EA plays of the week, then, then I guess I need to get somebody to work there that I know. Because that play About should absolutely be a play of the week every single week. First and ten. That's a pick. That's I threw that too early, so that's what happened. Threw that too early. My bad, bro. Gaming creeper. I am playing people, but I'm not playing people that I know. Just playing random people, but that's. I have played people that I know quite a bit. We do go live every Wednesday night for this week in Madden, where you can get some tips. Let's see what this guy's going to do. He might kick a field goal. He's smart. To the left, to the left, well, to the right. Like that, career, where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it. He just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Second and ten. Throws Pick. to the right. Ha ha, Clinton, right there. Steps in. 
Ball's out, but he was down. Is this guy going to fumble which one? That's my question. Because he was definitely down. I'm going to pick a play. Is this guy going to pick a play? That's the question. And if not, can we text him things? We'll pause. See if we can challenge. Which we can't. Speedy Anemone, if you didn't see it. Let's see, is this guy gonna let the time run out? The play clock's not moving. Why is the play clock not moving? I'm gonna take a timeout. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. I don't even care. I just want to see Reggie Wayne do a backflip. Come on. Pick a play, bro. All right, I'm going to tell you a story. Um, what do you guys want to know? All right. Um, if I could only have one meal left on Earth, just in general, one day of eating, you know, not because I'm getting the gas chamber, just because, why not? I would get a... Bacon, egg, and cheese, breakfast sandwich. I would then have a buffalo chicken calzone for lunch, probably. And then for dinner, I'd probably get a burrito. But not from Chipotle. And then I'd have peanut butter, chocolate pie. And I'd share it with it the only person I truly clock. love in this world. My dad. <laughs> and Mrs. Mad Bob could have a spoon if she wanted. Is this guy gonna do it again? This guy's a this guy's a jamoke. This guy's a real jamoke. Who does this? Why does he gotta be so rude? I earned that interception. This guy's a jabroni. There's, there's no way to stop it, Derek. Just a quick drop back. Matthew Stafford looking long. At the 29 yard line. When you can throw the football that high, that accurate, and man, it is beautiful. Right on the target. Nice catch. What a play. You're out. Alright. No more subs. You're disappointed. You only got what five to go? We'll have to get Coster. We'll have to give Coster a second uh, box. There's Byron Maxwell making a play for us. job of the defense at time in position they read the quarterback's eyes and it led to an interception all right now we got the win i don't like this person's play style but that's okay we're still winning by a lot so it's worth it first down here crime doesn't pay you know what they mean wide receivers are bunched up right 20. Maybe. To the left, to the left, to the right. To the right. Jabroni. I, I, we can't have this Jabroni quick because we need to, we need to find the Reggie Wayne. But play. The quarterback smart enough gets rid of the football so we need this guy to stay involved. If he quits Third with like no time left, that would be depressing. That would be so depressing. Offense lines up here. How do you like it, guy? Not so fun, is it, to get caught on like that? Doesn't feel so good, does it, when Alshon Jeffrey spec catches on your face? Does it hot now? They come to the line and it's first down. Also not that hard to do. Probably gonna throw a kick. Chris Carter in your face. 
That's why you don't mess with the zone. If you could sing, you could, uh, I'd let you say it's turn out the light, but we know you can't sing, so the game is over. Alshon is Bay? This is, they're going to challenge this, right? Are you going to do some funny business? Anemone? If the stream goes down, I love all you guys. If he boots us. I don't appreciate I didn't actually mean onside kick. I just want to kick and get it over with. But. All right, Reggie Wayne ends up with the ball, and now we must go see his highlight of the ages. Reginald Wayne doing other things other Reggies won't do. Let's take a look and see. View highlights. And I know the losing team, hey, they, they got a lot of questions they got to answer in one short week. Boom, where is he? What quarter was that? This was also one of the good plays of the game. Sherman just tried the curl. We had man coverage. Did it happen in the second quarter? Pretty sure it was the third quarter. Michael Vick passes to Reggie. Was it the fourth quarter? No, it wasn't a bow. All right, guys. Madden 15 catch of the year. If you missed Twim on twitch.tv slash Madden Tips, then you missed this Reggie Wayne catch across the middle. Goes up, catches it, does a complete backflip, lands it, though. Russian judges gave him an 8. Everybody else a 10 for Reggie Wayne catch of the year. Don't forget to join us each week on twitch.tv slash Madden Tips for our weekly twim show where you can get tips to grow your game. We'll see you there. Just got a little highlight promo in the middle of this Reggie Wayne catch. Let's take a look at that one more time, see what the chat had to say. So if you missed this, this is what happened once again. Reginald Wayne going across the gut. Once again, I always say he's like the best receiver in the game. Takes the hit. What a play. That's why I love Reggie Wayne. Guy hangs onto the rock regardless of if he gets crushed or if he doesn't get crushed. Right now, he's like, I made a huge mistake. That's basically what he's saying. Pretty intense. That was pretty intense. All right, and then we ran in with Vic, blah, 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 game over. What a win. What a win. Should have shown at full speed. Should You can't screenshot as easy on PS4. Otherwise, I would have screenshotted that for show. For show, for show. Uh, hopefully, S. Gibbs can also give me all his old Xbox One cards, because that would be good. Whew. Let's see. Big Asian lady. I use the Steelers offense. We'll take a quick look at the offense here. And then uh, we'll take a quick look at some giveaways. So uh, that was Alshon Jeffrey, who specced. Once again, thanks to Hot, Sh Hot Sticks for hooking it up with the Alshon. Uh, Anquan Bolden's currently riding the pine, I think. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's he's behind him. Chris Carter makes some some really nice plays for us. Um, we just put up the AJ Green for trade, so hopefully you guys have sent some offers. Um, I want you to send me over uh, I need you if you want to win the AJ Green who I just posted on the trade block, send me over a gold. We're gonna make this equal so everybody has a chance. It's gonna be a gold player. 
that you need to trade for Reggie Wayne. Once again, YouTube, if you guys aren't are missing out on a Reggie Wayne. So we, we give away this champ Bailey. I don't want anybody good for him. Or do I? Who offered these people? Can I, can I, I'll get Corey Lindsley and then I'll give him away. It's a great deal. It's a great deal. You guys deserve another giveaway. Um, Black Rain. The one good thing about playing Mutt this late in the season is all there's a lot of good cards out there and a lot of people can give you help. If you're willing to play the solos, you can get a pretty good team pretty quick um, because the card values are pretty low. I mean, it's hard to still get the really, really good cards, but uh, once again, if you want AJ Green, if this is Tim Fugger, I might have to... No. Um, if you want to win this AJ Green Xbox One giveaway... Send me a gold offensive lineman who has 99 strength who we used at the start of the season. Go. On PS4, we're going to do a giveaway because we can't do one on PS on Xbox and not do one on PS4. That would be mean, so I'll give something away. We will give away Jingle all the way. How about we do two giveaways since they're not going to be as high quality as 93, but we'll give away two middle linebackers, 87 Keekly, 87 uh, Cushing. One of these I'll need a Tim Fugger. Send me a Tim Fugger trade for Luke Keekly. Uh, for Brian Cushing, please send me um, how about any silver New York Giants defensive lineman. Any New York Giants silver defensive end or defensive tackle for Brian Cushing. And we'll also give away Tyron Smith. Three PS4 giveaways. Send me any bronze Pittsburgh Steeler. Any bronze Pittsburgh Steeler for Tyron Smith. Who is going to win the AJ Green? Mackenzie Bernadou is the correct answer. Uh, Road to the Playoffs edition. I might have given you a shot there, but this guy is obviously the first person to send it, so he will win Adriel Jeremiah Green. Once again, AJ Green, six foot four. Um, was I in love with his item? No, but did he make some plays and did I did you know did he drop some balls in traffic? Yes, so that's okay. Wolf Hunter just resubbed. Wolf Hunter, you're definitely on the sub square list. So, you should be good. That will be awesome. All right, so we gave, we we're doing the PS4 giveaway. We just gave away the 93, Adriel, Jeremiah Green. Boom. We got the Ray Lewis over here on uh, PS4 as well. Once again, a really good item. If you're, uh, you're, you know, sometimes these items are hit or miss, but you've got 93 block shed, 95 play rec. Uh, he's basically as good as those cushions and stuff that we just gave away. But you know, those you, there's certain people that those can help. Um, well, we're gonna give away this Corey Lindsley too. So if you need a center, guys, once again, who do I use at center? I myself use Corey Lindsley. He's an upgrade from Alex Mack, who I had to sub out. Uh, remember Alex Mack, the TV show where the chick had turned into a puddle and was a total babe, with all due respect? I like that TV show. Kind of weird, but kind of fun. Her sister was like kind of the older, like mean person. Or that might be 10 Things I Hate About You, which I think is the same plot, but she couldn't turn into a puddle in 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, I forget.
All right. Um, that chick definitely should have probably gone and seen a doctor because I don't think that's healthy. I'm not a doctor myself though, so I don't know. But I do use that Corey Lindsley, guys. I think he's really good for the cost. I think you should be, he should be your new center. Just send me, um, send me a Tim Fugger. Send me a Tim Fugger for Corey Lindsley. You should always have Tim Fuggers on deck. That is what we need to get this done. All right. Let's take a look at the trade blocks. We've got our items up. Trade block. I also want to check the price on Jadavian Clowney. All right, so Luke Keekly. Tim Fugger, giveaway accepted. Trade block. Once again, we need a any silver D lineman or defensive tackle or defensive end for the Giants. And let's find my trade. For Tyron Smith, any bronze Steelers player. So we're gonna give away this Corey Lindsley, guys. Once again, a player I totally recommend you spend your coins on if you're you know, in the 90s overall. If you can level up from Alex Mack, who's who I would pick for cheap. Uh, let's take a look and see my lineup real quick. I'll show both of you on Xbox and PS4. And then give you a little lineup update. Here's what we've got going. We got a 2 0 record. The lineup is Michael Vick at QB. We've got Bo Jackson with Jamal Charles backing him up, which is an all right mixture. Um, Alshon on the outside drops a little bit, but he does run block and he can make the big catch potentially. Chris Carter is pretty solid all around. Reggie Wayne did a backflip and caught the football, so he's pretty much bay. Uh, line's decent. We need to start to upgrade it with a new right tackle. We like our tight ends quite a bit, so we don't really use them, but we like them. I don't know. Just nice to have. Um, defensively, Aaron Donald's on the A-gap uh, for defensive tackle. Clowney we purchased, but we want to sell back because we use Williams instead. Watt is a beast. Champ's good. Uh, Calvin Harris. When I met him in the summer, he let up a touchdown. Bobby Maxwell, Ronnie Sherman, Ernie Doomerville, Lester Keekly, Tom Suggs, Tim Mays. All these guys, pretty good defenders. Uh, I don't know. Christian Johnson at free safety is pretty good. Harry Clinton Dix is pretty good. And Ed Reed with an eye, not bad. So that's the squad that we got on Xbox Oon. Over on PS4, once again, if anybody wants to fire it up and pick up two items, you can. Just send me some silver or gold, or uh, I'll take any items you guys got. Bronze level uh, for those trades. This defense is set up for a 4-3, uh, 4 or 46 offense. If you're like, this would be the base offense I would use. So Randall and Ellington are pretty inexpensive players. So if you're still growing your team, like my Xbox team is different. My PS4 team is like the bottom of the barrel, but to still be in all man one and compete, compete with Cunningham, compete with Ellington. This Julio is a monster. Calvin's great. Demarius is solid all around. Gronk, this version's pretty good. Haven't really used him much. Our lines budget, but you know, this area is pretty good. This guy's pretty fast. They hold up okay. Um, PS4 defense is we do need both these tackles. None of them are really fast enough to get in on the A-gap. We just want a strong defensive line, and that's what we accomplished. This Will Fork, great budget card to bring the beef. 
Um, once again, we have Mario Williams like backing it up, and we could sub him in if we want to get pressure. Champ, these guys hold up pretty pretty well on the edge. Uh, 90 Troy at strong safety is really good. Bethea is good. Vaughn's a beast. Clay's okay. Once again, we don't use a second middle linebacker, so we're not going to pony up for one. Khalil's all right. Doesn't really make good CPU plays. So, yeah, this is the PS4 Squizod right now. And that's where we're at with our team update, guys. Until next time for the YouTube crowd, lock up. For the Twitch people,